Hello and welcome to Dragon Roll TV. My name is Demix and this is episode 13, which I hope doesn't bode badly for me as I play Total War Warhammer 2, playing as the Carrot Cadron. And as you can see, we're about to face off against Manfred. And I didn't think about it, but episode 13, this does not bode well. <laughs> Hopefully, that superstition is nonsense. Let's give this a go. As we said last time, another battle at Waldenhof, and the first one was a good one, but this one shall be great, assuming we win. <laughs> so Manfred's army isn't particularly impressive. This is really bad for us, though. Okay. This reinforcement placement is awful. Okay, so how are we going to do this? I'm going to set up around here. In a formation that can hold its own, first of all. And then, try and run these guys over here and see what happens. If these guys move against them, I'll then set them up and get these guys to move that way, of course. And we'll probably meet in this corner. This, oh, the, the, I mean, episode 13, right? <laughs> episode 13, straight away. Not looking good. Okay, I really can't see how this units could hold either. How these units could hold here. This does not look good for us. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's do this. Okay, we're gonna go one. This. Slayers here. Slayers here. Miners. Let's move over here. Go, go, go. We need to really get the heck out of here. <laughs> Okay, they're coming for us. They are coming for us. Let's set up, boys. Kazook. It's not going to be good for Garam, and he's not immortal. So I actually might. I'm going to what? I'm going to stick him behind the warriors over on this side and make sure that we get good use out of his armor and his uh, damage resistance buff. Our troops are moving. That's good. We might not quite get to here in time. We might have to set up a secret, a uh, set a secret, a separate uh, battalion that defends itself. I think we're going to have to. Especially if they're going to chase us down from behind. That's not going to be good if they do that. Let's just set it up so that it's ready. Eight. And they're really chasing us down. Oh, good. Those cavalry are going to get annihilated. That's good for us. Let's do that as well. It's a good start. Let's have these guys here. Wow, they have so little cavalry. We have so little infantry compared to how many archers we have. We're really, really hoping that these archers will do what we need them to. Can I have the archers just firing on, on Manfred, please? Take him out. Okay, I need eight to turn around and fire on these devils. I need the infantry to move here. This is not good. This is not good. Come on, archers. Take them out really quickly, please. Is Manfred dead? Manfred's dead. Awesome. Two. Where's the Vargulf? Take that Vargulf out. Okay. They're dead. Excellent. Pretty much. Let's 
Let's go eight. I'm gonna have them take at these cavalry. Move out the way. This is an absolute mess. Okay, I want their lords dead. Let's get their lords dead. Let's go this way. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, two. Let's fire on these guys. Slayers. Just move out the way. Let's fire on what's going to do the maximum damage here. Our archers have no semblance of order whatsoever. Let's get them into a bit of a... A bit of order here. Okay, this is actually looking incredible. They just totally... I mean, our, our weird... Oh, there there's the Grave Guard. There's the Grave Guard now. Let's take out this Lord as well. Our archers are looking good. Let's fire on these Black Knights here. What did I choose? What did I tell to fire there? I think I told the right thing. Let's bring them up. I'm going to be doing a good job. Increase the melee defense of everyone so they can hold better. We're going to give them extra armor and damage resistance too. Awesome. Grudge Thor is doing some damage over here. This couldn't be going better, really. It couldn't really be going better. Our weird... Our weird formation seems to have done us... Good, somehow. Seems to have, seems to have helped us somehow. In a weird way. Good stuff, they're all finished off. Let's get all their generals dead. Without their generals, their morale is nothing. Good stuff. Let's get these guys firing on the Grave Guard with great weapons. We'll have these guys on the right fire at the Spearmen. Really start thinning those numbers there. Let's reform this line. Send in the Slayer King first. I don't think there's any real need to... Oh, wow. That's some serious kills. Move the Rune Lord up as well. But try not to get him in combat if we can avoid it. We'll do it. We'll shove him in. He'll be okay. I believe in him. Two seconds and we've got the melee defense buff back. Good stuff. Damage resistance. They are just getting annihilated. Too little, too late. And our weird, weird, weird formation seems to have carried the day for us somehow they still got troops coming in but they're going to be arriving far too late let's pull garam out of here our poor men who were sent into battle there didn't do very well but getting shot in the back by your own men isn't particularly fun <laughs> let's destroy this far gulf Rally! And Dividing Conquer has definitely won the day. <laughs> Perfect shot from the Goblober just to finish. And an absolutely heroic victory for the Dowie. I mean, I don't think anyone expected that. They just seem to just get so disorientated by our crazy, weird, totally unintentional formations. And the AI was just like, what? What? How do I How do I even flank this? I don't know. <laughs> One remaining unit for Bruno. I don't know how that is. I think the vampires, dis I thought the vampires disintegrate. How do they even have a unit remaining? Not sure. But we send them running tail between legs, I'm sure. What a battle. Great.
Absolutely great. 278 kills for the Goblobber there. We did lose a unit of warriors, that's a shame. But all in all, that was awesome. I think we'll take the leadership buff. And now is without question the time to press our advantage because uh, it's just, that's it over for them, isn't it? That's it over for them. They're already recruiting at Castle Drakenhof, but it won't be enough to save them. Ooh, Hinder Replenishment. That's a sore one. And victory at the Battle of Waldenhof Marshes. Definitely a big victory in this campaign. And just showing how crazy overpowered quarrelers are. <laughs> just crazy. Okay, let's press our advantage. Let's do this. Opal amulet. Very nice. That's really annoying. Mine too. We defeated an army and removed ourselves a grudge. And killed an unbelievable amount of enemy lords. Uh, I don't really want to upgrade this yet, just in case anything happens. I don't know. No, no, you know what? No, it's 2,000 gold and we're negative though, so it's a bit much right now. This public order is seriously a problem now, Mount Goombad. We are going to have to make a lord there to uh, solve that issue. Okay, let's level up one skill point here. Leadership plus nine is very nice. Untainted is going to be very helpful as well. I think we'll go for Strike the Runes, though. He's just... You know, the runes are, are, are so good. Yeah, we're going to go for that. Right, let's first chase down this fellow. Oh, hang on. Before we do that, we'll get uh, a hard-to-hit bonus. Definitely. And for Garim, what can we get? I'm going to give him Relentless. Speed him up so he can get around the battlefield to where he needs to be. Okay, let's uh, move Grimly here. Why is he not moving? Oh, that'll do. And Eshin are going to come and back these guys up, so it's going to be another big battle. My gosh. Let's do this. Hopefully the reinforcements come in a better position this time. Wow, and it, that's still another big battle. It's not getting any easier, especially on our poor warriors. Let's do this. <laughs> the vampires are giving grounds, but they're not giving it easily. Every single inch is paid for with Dowie blood. And Rudiger von Falkenstein, I'm sure, will give no quarter either. And neither shall we. Let's move back to uh, allow our reinforcements to join us. And we really have nothing left when it comes to our melee units. Bit of a better position there. Let's get them over here. Get the rest of the quarrelers up here.
And that is certainly going to hurt. <laughs> I'm not afraid for that. Because that's all just going to be dead before anything happens. But this is certainly going to hurt. Let's get everyone turned around here. Uh, I think we will use that on these guys, to be honest. It's not looking good for them. And we definitely have something to worry about here. Let's pull the Slayers over. Well, that's gonna hurt. Okay, we're all good. Let's get the archers facing forwards. And if you think I'm leaving that gap open for you to run into, you are crazy. Come on, lads. Finish them off. There's not many. Let's get Slayers over here. Miners after them. And a group of Slayers after them as well. That's fine. Okay. The archers are just annihilating them. Perfect. These poor units are utterly decimated. Look at this unit here, like seven men. Bloodied to the... Bloodied all over. They're not having a fun time. <laughs> very, very small losses, thankfully. We couldn't really afford any more. And Eshin now will be a very easy victory after that. Can't afford the uh, casualty replenishment rate to go down any more than it already is. I grow restless. So what we'll do is we'll move him here just to get... What? Attack them! The maximum help we can also resolve. Oh, it's, you know what it is? Watch this. We're going to lose this poor little unit here. No, we lost nothing. I, I, thank goodness. I, that would have been really unfair. <laughs> okay. And. Okay, they're not getting any replenishment. They're just, just not. Not, not getting replenishment. <laughs> or, sorry, not. Not getting attrition is what I meant to say there. Castle Templehof is going to rebel soon. They're doing everything they can. Throwing everything in the kitchen sink at us to try and stop us taking Castle Drakenhof here. But I won't stop until it's mine. Let's take Relentless. Lord of Clan Morgrim. And we could get some uh, extra regiments of renown here. That might help us a lot. You know what? I'm going to combine these troops. Yes. Get rid of these guys. Get rid of these guys. And let's just get some uh, global recruitment. That's it. We'll build Waldenoff. We'll upgrade the... Uh, is it Waldenoff we'll upgrade? No, you know what? We'll upgrade Ashen. And I bet you Thingrim and Helheim are feeling very confident right now, so we, we can't let them go and take Castle Dragonhof after all our hard work. Could use their backup, though. You know what we could do is next turn, we could just send in Bungrim. We could send in Ungrim. Might recruit some of these guys to help. I think that's what we're going to do next. We're going to go next turn. So we're not going to bother recruiting anything here. Eshin. Let's upgrade Eshin or Waldenoff. You know what? Waldenoff's probably a bit safer. 
So upgrade bald enough. Karakunga still at Siege Workshop. I don't want to waste money on it. Mount Goonbad's not, not great, but it could be worse. No Confederation yet. Okay, you know what? We'll we'll send uh, Ungram here, and then I'll maybe wait a turn and get uh, Thingram to come help. But I'll, I'll see what I think of that. Because I probably could just do it myself, to be honest. With a few more of these regiments of renown, of which I've got loads standing by and ready to help. So we'll see you next turn. Okay, Rebellion in Western Sylvania, shouldn't be that much of an issue, we've got the walls there, in fact it definitely won't. Can I help you? Yes you can sir. Ask another. They've recruited Helm and Gorst, I mean that's just making it too easy. They've made it too easy, look they've... No. <laughs> No, you are a moron. You've recruited someone outside. It's over. We have won. Alright, let's see what we can get, what we need. I'll take some Peak Guard, hell yeah. I'll take some Normlings, hell yeah. Norgrimlings. Quite expensive, but uh, that should be pretty much everything we need to hold the line. In fact, very expensive. Very expensive. And let's move here. And then let's attack Hellman, and he's going to be backed up by all those troops. And this should be it. Because they don't, look at that, they don't even have any chevrons. So it's a totally unexperienced army. So this is, they just made our life so much easier. Nevertheless, I like ending on a little cliffhanger. So, that's where I'm going to leave it, guys. It's a little bit shorter today, but uh, I did a little bit of a longer episode, I think, last time or the time before that. So, you know, this compensates. So, I really hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like and subscribe. Give us a comment below what you thought about that, and I will see you in the next video.